This video shares the modified Yaminase technique for scleral fixated IUL, which we are using now for more than 6 years. The background of this technique has been shared earlier in a video uploaded on AAO website. You can find the link for that video in the comment section. This was a 28-year-old male with spherophakia in both eyes. Pars plana clear lens lensectomy with scleral fixation of a three-piece IUL was planned. Now lensectomy was followed by PVD induction with the conventional technique. Limited conjunctival peritomy is performed at diagonally opposite clock hours. Toric marker is now used to mark the sclerotomy size. Three-piece IUL is injected and both haptics are externalized one by one with the conventional technique. Now a bent 26 gauge needle is used to create a scleral tunnel. Now using a fine forceps, the haptic is gently threaded into the lumen of the needle. The needle is now gently withdrawn out of the needle tunnel with forceps controlling the length of the haptic that would stay inside the tunnel. Same steps are repeated for inferior haptic. One can often encounter a small kink in inferior haptic, but this does not present any challenge as long as you ensure that the bend is pushed into the tunnel. The gauge cutter is used to create a superior IUL. One can see a well-centered IUL at two weeks post-operative follow-up. The same patient's fellow eye was also operated by a similar technique. Pars planar lensectomy was followed by IUL injection and exteriorization of both haptics. Scleral tunnel is created with bent 26 gauge needle. One can notice a kink in the inferior haptic. This kink is pushed into the tunnel. One can see that IUL is well centered. This is the entire segment picture at two weeks follow up. 